Here they are turning the corner, a very smooth ride, not the kind of uh, bumps and scrapes that we saw with the beast yesterday in Ireland. Entering the gates there behind me, I can almost see this better just by turning round, uh, but we're going to stay on those shots for you. The gates of Buckingham Palace open now and you get a sense as well at the periphery uh, perhaps of the number of vans that carry their aides, political aides, uh, a medical team, nurses, doctors, surgeons, they even uh, carry with them spare blood for emergency transfusions. Don't forget, Air Force One comes complete, even uh, with an operating table and a resident surgeon. So, uh, as the Chris was, was saying, nothing left to chance. We can take you right inside uh, Buckingham Palace now, into the courtyard, and all those vans that we were following have gone in, the ambulance, many of his aides. And this, don't forget, is the informal part. The, the lunch is just for 60 or so people today, but uh, will be preceded uh, by the real pageantry, the pomp and the ceremony that will take place uh, in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. I don't know if we can uh, talk to our royal correspondent, uh, Nicholas Witchell, who's actually just the other side there. And Nick, uh, you can take us through what we're expecting there within the next hour or so. So there, the President of the United States and the First Lady being greeted at the grand entrance of Buckingham Palace by the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Their convoy has come in, of course, down Constitution Hill and then turning in across the uh, front uh, quadrangle of the palace and in through that central arch. And there, the Queen just exchanging a few words of greeting with the President and the First Lady, posing for a few photographs, and then very shortly they will go inside the palace for that brief meeting with Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge. They've uh, come to the palace specially this morning to spend 10 minutes or so with the President. In he goes with uh, Michelle Obama.